Hi, I'm John, one of the engineers at WeBooks. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the WeBooks Industrial Grade SLA 3D Printer Series. There are three products in this series, the SLA 360, the SLA 450, and the SLA 600, featuring large printing size, high printing precision, fast printing speed, and high stability. In addition, the SLA 3D printers support a variety of printing materials. Taking the WeBooks SLA 450 Industrial 3D Printer as an example, it can reach a 450 by 450 by 330 mm build size, 0.05 mm print precision, and 0.03 to 0.25 mm layer thickness with a 1000 mW laser device. It is also equipped with a German ScanLab scanning galvanometer system with featured 0.1 to 0.5 mm variable beam diameter a scanning speed of up to 10 meters a second, and it can print 80 to 320 millimeters of resin per hour. By replacing the resin tank, the WeBooks SLA 450 3D printer can print a variety of materials on just one device, which not only meets the different printing needs of the user, but can greatly reduce cost. Firstly, let's get familiar with the name and usage of each component of the WeBooks SLA 450. This is a resin tank, used for installing the photosensitive resin. This is a liquid level detector, used to control the stability of the resin level. This is the laser device and the control panel of the laser power. Here is the ScanLab scanning galvanometer. And this is a laser beam expander. This is the host control computer. Now we come to the alarm control device. The device will automatically alarm and cut off the power when any abnormal condition happens. It should be observed that when operating the WeBooks SLA 450, the temperature should be maintained at 22 to 28 degrees centigrade and the humidity should be maintained at 30 to 40 percent. Generally speaking, air conditioners and dehumidifiers are necessary for the installation of the WeBooks SLA 450 3D printer. As previously mentioned, the WeBooks SLA 450 3D printer is capable of producing a variety of photosensitive resins, including ABS-like photosensitive resin, high-toughness photosensitive resin, flexible photosensitive resin, high-temperature resistant photosensitive resin, transparent photosensitive resin, and photosensitive resin for casting use, to name a few. The method for replacing the resin tank is also very simple. Let's take a look at how to replace the resin tank. We have now completed the preparation of printing material, but we still have one more thing to do before we officially start printing. Firstly, we use the Magix 3D software to repair, locate, add support, and slice the 3D model that needs to be printed. Next, let's start the machine. In order, press the start and power button to turn on the device control system. Press the server button to turn on all the driving power of the device. Press the galvanometer button to turn on the power supply of the galvanometer. Press the vacuum pump button to turn on the vacuum pump power. Press the laser button 
to power the laser control box. The next thing we have to do is wait for the laser to be ready. It will take about 10 minutes, so in the meantime we can import the 3D model into the machine's control software. When the laser device and control software are all ready, we can simply click start and the machine will start printing. We can check the printing conditions and printing process bar in real time. The printing has now completed. Let's take a look at the example SLA model in my hand. You can see that the surface is quite smooth and the details are indeed quite intricate. We hope that the WeBooks Industrial Grade SLA 3D printers will help you realize all of your 3D printing ideas. Enjoy your big ideas!